Yeah, good day everyone. Yarno the cat here. Today we're gonna play some insurgency. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yarno the dog here. Today you're gonna learn some cool shit. Damn, I look good. I mean, look at these cosmetics. I've got me Tac Helm, my Balaclava, my Polarized Sunnies, and Tactical Desert Camo. In case you didn't know, we're in the Middle East. I want customization that's going to help me blend in with the environment and to help with concealment. This means browns, browns, and more browns. Security have an advantage. In this regard, you have the Desert Smear Camo. The Desert Smear is universally the best camo. It allows you to blend into sand, rocks, walls, buildings, and even indoor areas. The insurgents merely get civilian clothes. Put as much brown on as you possibly can. What the browns allow you to do is become a dirty snake in the grass. A blend of browns helps you hide amongst the terrain, especially grass. Have a look at this. Look at how their entire reinforcement wave runs past me. Here I am hiding to the side, peppering them in the back with not a worry in the world. Insurgents can create some black heavy outfits. The darker tones will give you away in the desert but get into dark corridors and low lit areas and you become a ghost. Just you wait for night maps and these outfits are gonna rock. Sick of running to the objective, only to get shot by the one kill per five minute sniper? Me too. Introducing the Jalalabad truck. Coated with AAA bulletproof glass and with enough room for five, you can quickly move an entire squad into action. Up in, up in, up in, up in, up in. Yeah, the boys, let's go. Get out of the way, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. No, 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 no. Moving a fully loaded Jalau right into a flank is very loud. You better be ready for a fight. Help, 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 help! He's pushing me, he's pushing me. Not all maps let you safely rush the truck into position. With tight linear map design and a lack of freedom to manoeuvre, sometimes the only thing you can do is to keep the vehicle at range. The mounted heavy machine gun on the back fires extraordinarily large rounds capable of penetrating most objects and objective buildings for that matter. A great tactic is to sit at range, hammering away at the objective, suppressing all those inside. However, you do become quite the RPG magnet. Minigun support right here. Station, this is observer. We need minigun support in this area. Send them quick. Yeah, roger that observer. Black Hawk is inbound. Over. Helicopter assets are extremely powerful. The commander's ability to call in the bird will buy the security time and protection to approach the objective. Any unfortunate insurgent caught outdoors and without cover will be mince meat. Oh yeah, he's dead. It turns out insurgents have a real tough time with the helicopters and that's intended. If you find yourself running away to hide, I get it. However, if you find yourself near the ammo box, run back and re-kit for a suitable anti-air loadout. I highly recommend the 50 caliber anti-material rifle. Sweet. When ready with your selection, take your aim my friend and fire at the chopper's blade. Kill 
finally some peace and quiet. Fucking neighbours. I'm playing here. Oh yeah, we are noisy, noisy, noisy sons of bitches, my friends. Just listen to those rhinoceros footsteps. It doesn't matter how tactical your character looks, he is very, very loud. From footsteps to gunshots and in-game voices, you are extremely audible, and you probably didn't realize. The tactical walk makes you dead silent and many forget to use it. Anything quicker and you become audible. Even aiming down sights makes a sound. Makes you wonder what else could give you away. Hey, over here, help me. All soldiers need help. They experience some terrible things in insurgency and because of it, they can't help but advertise their passions and emotions. Combat. Our characters dynamically make call outs and shriek in pain when shot at. The rule is, if you can hear it, they can hear it too. Now you may find yourself in situations where you hear something and are unclear on what the hell you just heard. Alright mate, I need you to get in this building and go clear it please. Lucky for you there is a inbuilt trick which I use a lot. A young woman went into that dark cave all alone and I have no idea if she made it. Check your tactical map. If her icon is gone, she's dead. Your map provides all sorts of intel, but using it to quickly identify enemy positions in conjunction with sound Fuck. is truly an elite skill. Ah. Where you going, motherfucker? Relocation and revenge knowledge. You gotta give them credit, players are quite smart. People can put two and two together to work out where shots are coming from and to put a stop to someone smashing their reinforcement wave. People are hungry and have revenge knowledge. When they respawn, they will come right back for you, which is why vanishing and relocating is always a fantastic idea. Have a look at this. I make a stupid and greedy play I expose myself to their entire wave. Not only did they have curiosity to my whereabouts, but now my position is confirmed. They will come for you. Do you relocate or hold them off? Down on the ground! Get down! Only you will know, but always remember. Fight your own greed. Do I make a lot of sound and give away my position for a measly frag? Or do I hold back so I can kill them all? Just on time. Uh, this is flank watching sniper team one. I got a visual on a man. Jesus. All right, well, you shot his goat. Why don't you shoot him this time and protect our flank? Protecting your team's flank is very important. It's boring work, but it's a must. It just takes one shooter to stop an entire flank. And to ensure you remain in control, you must keep relocating to a new position, which overlooks the same angle. 
With the lethality in Sandstorm, even the greenest of players can stop elite veterans from flanking and creating plays that win games. One guy on a flank, and you create such a pain for the enemy. Trigger discipline is needed. You spam too much, and you give away your position. You should also prioritize danger close targets. Shoot the bugger that can kill you first, not the guy at the back of the map. Do not forget about revenge knowledge. They will come for you. Got him! Oh, hey guys. So what do you reckon? The glasses that is. Like the colour? Pick them up today. These glasses make you look like a demon that instills fear and are very tactical. You are, however, easier to spot. The shining glimmer really can give you away. But I understand. They look really cool. But how about a compromise? Wear the black shades at least. Come on now. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you learned some cool shit. My name is Yanu Zipi.